my thing was was just the fact that certain men were just giving the ball away a lot and we, we kind of like Man City weren't great they kind of fed off our mistakes I know that's how football works but I feel like if we'd have kept the ball a little bit better because we played like some decent football second half I know it doesn't mean anything but I felt like because we gave the ball away so many times they just literally went through our midfield had we been mm. able to kind of keep the ball well sometimes people saying about pressing and all that yeah, you can go and press, but at the same time, we didn't even manage to keep the ball well. And that's what yeah, me. that's what I'm well, saying. We talk about pressing, but when we got the ball, yeah, we were just yeah. turning it over. The thing is against Man City, it's okay to let Man City have the ball because you're not going to dominate. Yep. But when you right. get the ball, you have to make sure that you take care of it, innit? And uh, we just didn't do that. No, and that's the thing. And <laughs> and that's, you know what I mean? There's, there's, there's one thing, again, like I said, you're not creating chances, etc. But when you get that ball, you've got to make sure that you, you, you kind of like be like, you know what? We're going to keep the ball here. We don't have to go gun ho. You, you know, you manage your game well. But I can't mm. lie to you. I think Ten Hag will be looking at it thinking, you know what? Certain man, you know what I mean? They need to fix up, man, because this is not the way I play. This is not the way that I operate. You can't just let me down in front of everyone, embarrass me, because the tactics weren't this. And that's why a lot of people say to me, oh, Ten Hag got it wrong. I said, nah, man. The players went out there and they were the ones mm. that have to deliver. Simple as that, man. You know, Tenar doesn't say to people, yo, make that 40-yard pass and, and, and just go and, you know, make that hero ball. No, he doesn't. He wants you to keep the ball. And he said it so many times. In press conference, he said, yo, we've got to keep the ball better. How many times have you said it already? How many times have you heard mm. it? got to keep the ball better. So, yeah, man, it's, it's a learning curve, man. It's a massive learning curve, isn't it, for me? And, you know what I mean? Like I said, certain men need to be dropped. Certain men need to step up. But other than that, man, Man City were just too much, man. Too, too much. In all, in all, in all departments, bro. Yeah, you get me? trust me. This is it, bro. And a man said we got a lot of confidence from beating Arsenal and Liverpool. Yeah, hundred percent. Nothing but facts. And mm. this, and this is exactly what we needed, bro. It's a wake up call, isn't it? It's to mm. tell these man you cannot play like that and get away with it, especially not against what one of the best teams in Europe, bro. Yeah, hundred percent, man. You know what I mean? Especially when. You know what I mean? You've got to understand that this is also a mental game as well. And certain man just froze in it. Certain man just thought, you know what? I'm going to do what, you know. And it's that panic mode in it when, when the things are not going well for them. Like, them man just go into like little shells. It's like, bro, relax, man. Just take your time. Nothing's lost. Nothing's won. Like, at the same time, it's 2 0. But just relax. The game's not done. Like, go and play the way you've been playing. Understand the game. Be patient and, and, and try and you know, have some sort of positive mindset. The fact that you go into your shell and think, you know what, oh, I'm going to start forcing it now. That's one thing I hate me, you know, when you start forcing it because then you're then in jeopardy now because then they're going to go out there and just absolutely hunt us down. And because they know in their faces, they're like, shit, these men have got their heads down. You know what, we're going to just, we're just going to go after them and, and just beat mm -hmm. them to the to the sword. And that's what they did. They, they found out, they found out the weak guys and they played on them, bro. They literally played on our weak guys, bro. And they, and they and they pressed us. I think the midfield as well. I thought for me, we got ran past. A lot of people are talking about the wingers, you know. It's pissing me off, you know. I don't think okay, wingers can trap back here, but the, the game was lost for me in midfield, man. The midfield was absolutely terrible. Fair. Bruno Fernandez, for me, I can't lie to you, man. There's the I I I, I think for me he needs to be dropped, man. I think for me, go and get Casemiro, go and get Ericsson further forward. Because I think for me, Ericsson was always brought in to be that missing piece. Go and get Ericsson further forward. And then mm. you have two in that midfield, whether it's Fred, whether it's someone else. Yeah, it needs to be Fred there. and Casemiro with Ericsson. Yeah, That's what it really needs to be. That's what it needs to be, bro. Because wow. we can't allow Ericsson to be exposed. Bruno's the fucking captain right now, bro, which is which is bad news for us. Because he needs all guys in the play. So when man are talking about other players, yeah, I see man want to talk shit about Anthony, Sancho, all these other guys, bro. When you've got this guy in your midfield, how can you build anything, bro? How? Nothing. You can't. You can't. Because he keeps giving the ball away. He keeps spamming them balls in. You know what I mean? Look how many times he tried to force it. Just retain the ball. Keep it ticking. That's why for me, man, I can't lie, man. You know what? To be fair, I went to James Madison before Bruno and the tweets are there out there, man. I look at James Madison. For me, as an idea of a number 10, Bruno doesn't give me that. I've been saying it for a while, man. I need mm -hmm. a number 10 that that can bring others into play, makes our team play better. Bruno Fernandes, for me, like I said to you, man, I don't, I don't know what sort of player he is. Even if you played him in the number eight role and you said, you know what? Let's get him a bit more deeper. Does he have the passing ability? 
Does he have the, 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 the can, he t- can he tackle? Can he win the ball back? I'm not sure. That's not even part mm. of his game. So this is what I'm trying to say. Ten Hag's got a, got an issue. You know, what I mean? he's got to sort it out. He'll find the balance in it. He knows best, yeah. But like I said, man, I just think for me, Bruno Fernandez doesn't offer you anything. Even in that game against Arsenal, yes. But at that time, because our attacking and and our, and our, and our, the way we were played, it was suited for a final third player, and that's what Bruno Fernandez is. But the game isn't all that though. You have to well, understand. Not even a final third, bro. Like he, he got what the assist for Rashford, yeah. Where bruv, he just slapped it into space, bro. That's what but he that's does, though. That's what he done in. But he does that. I said it even when he he got the assist. I said Bruno does that ten times a game anyway. Well, there you go. It just so happens <laughs> the one time he got a fucking assist, but he does it ten times a game. Every time he gets the ball, he just kicks it, hoofs it into space, bro. Yeah, he saw it in that clip. Him getting yeah. the ball and just putting the ball into areas and hoping something comes of it. Yeah, that's literally what he does. But it's it's passing the shuttle, are in it? That's what it is. Let's be honest, man. Mm. It's, it's, it's it's you know there's more hope in it than anything. There's not there's not a, a feeling that you know what this is the right pass because more times out of ten, again is it, you know it's, it's more just about volume in it and we can't keep mm. that can't keep happening because more teams that ta- times out of ten they're gonna have the ball and they're gonna destroy us. So when they retain the ball. And they go on the offense, and that's what Man City did in big games. It's going to jeopardize everything that Ten Hag is doing. It's literally mm. going to every single thing shape everything, um, and and then all of a sudden people are going to say, "Oh, our defense is rubbish," and not. It's not. It's about that midfield. That midfield needs discipline. It needs a balance, man. And all of a sudden, we're using Ericsson as some sort of like you know inspirational player when reality he was meant to be a free signing a lot of people now put pressure on Ericsson again he was a free mm-hmm. signing so in the, the day I don't why I don't know why people are putting pressure on, on Christian Ericsson he was meant to be a luxury signing but this Bruno Fernandes I don't mm-hmm. know man I'll be honest with you I've been meant to be a 10 to... now now we're trying to we're trying to use him as fucking pillow bro because That's what I mean it's one and of... he will get caught out because in the, the day he's not the most athletic player is he let's be honest man Eric, Christian Ericsson mm-hmm. isn't nah, he, can't, he covers run... a lot of he, he covers does. a lot of ground, but he's not explosive, yeah. He's not explosive, and also he's not a, he's not a good ball carrier as well. So, in the, the day... Yeah, we, he's we, not we a ball carrier, he's just a passer. Yeah. So, in the, the day, like I said, in that midfield there, if you're going to play McTominay and Chris Eriksson, I'm sorry, you can't play Bruno Fernandes. Yeah. We, uh, you either have to, yeah, simple. You either have to wait mm. for Donny to come back, then you've got a bit of, um, you know, someone that could hold the ball up and then obviously bring others into play. Or you play Fred and then Christian Eriksen further forward. Simple. No, I Simple. Agree. I agree. You see what I mean? Not really. Man, man just need to get Fred back, blood. That's mm. what we need to do. We need to bring back Pastor Fred, bro. Been telling mm. man already. Last season, he was one of our best players. All of a sudden, he ain't playing no more, bro. And we need you him back, fam. Mm, I, I kind of feel sorry for him because he was, mm. he was part of that midfield of McTominay and Fred that was at Brighton, and then he was part of that midfield that was with him and Christian Eriksen. That was like kind of no balance in there. Come on, man. There's no there's no holding midfielder. I kind of feel sorry for him. In the day, he had two games where the, he had Maguire at the back for one for two of them, and also he had two midfielders that weren't the right balance. So again, he needs mm-hmm. he needs to he needs to get game time as well. And obviously with Casemiro, it makes full sense. It makes full sense, man. Him, Casemiro, and then Ericsson further forward. But bro, the problem if them two are good enough, yeah, to protect Neymar, yeah, then they can play. Bro, they can play behind Ericsson, blood. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. It just again, it seems too good to be true, in it. Obviously, we might see it at one stage. I don't know, but because Bruno Fernandez is there, and because obviously they've given him a contract, is he duty bound to kind of be like, you know what, he's got a place in this team. He's a fan's favorite. You know what I mean? Mm. Ten Hag obviously will find out whether what he kind of does, but this is this is what he lives he lives and dies by, in it. These kind of decisions. He's the manager. Obviously, I trust him, but obviously, this is my kind of preference, in it. 